You've probably seen fun on-screen captions like these on many social media videos. Your peers just grows larger and larger and larger and larger and larger. One in two people are going to pick up what I'm tapping, and that was not the case. And you're saying to yourself, why don't my videos look like their videos? They look so good. With just one drag and drop, you can now add dynamic captions in Camtasia. Camtasia quickly transcribes your audio and adds stylized, customizable captions on the screen. Let's get into it. Once you have recorded audio on your timeline, like I have in this video podcast, you are ready to add dynamic captions. Click the Captions tab. You can also reorder the tabs by clicking and dragging. If your Camtasia window is smaller, you may have to click More to find this tab. Choose a dynamic caption style and drag it to the timeline. In order to transcribe the audio, the dynamic captions must be on one of the tracks above the audio. Camtasia automatically starts transcribing. When it is finished, the dynamic captions will appear on the canvas. Click one of the clips with voiceover audio to see the transcription. There may be occasional words that need to be corrected or punctuation or capitalization to adjust. For example, up here, this should say screen instead of scream. Just click the text box and type the correction. If you change your mind on the dynamic caption style after making edits and want to replace it with a new style, Camtasia still remembers the audio transcription and retains all the edits you made. If the dynamic caption media is too short and does not cover all the audio, or you add additional recordings later, just click and drag to extend the duration to transcribe the audio and generate dynamic captions for those clips. Another option is to have no dynamic captions over a certain section by shortening or leaving a gap in the media. I will use dynamic captions on the entire video. Before customizing the style of these dynamic captions, move them up to avoid covering any important information on the screen. Once you're happy with the location, make sure the dynamic caption media is still selected and then click Properties to change the way the text looks. Play around with properties such as font, size, stroke or outline of the text, and spacing. Scroll down to edit the dynamic part of the caption that is highlighted. A few of my favorites are stroke size, future word opacity, word background, and scale of the current word. Play around with all the options. You can always click the reset icon to revert back to the original property. Let's see how it looks. Wherever you are and wherever you're watching from, my name is Matt Pierce, host of The Visual Lounge, where we talk about using images and video in the workplace. Today, we In Camtasia version 2025 or later, you can add or delete words and adjust when a word appears on the screen. When dynamic captions are on the timeline, you will see a purple tray above the audio media. Click on the purple tray to expand it. At the default zoom level, you won't see the individual words in the captions. Drag the timeline zoom slider, and now we can see each word. If there is a word missing, hover your cursor over the desired location and click when you see the plus icon. In the caption transcription area, click the text box and type the word. To delete a word, Come back down to the transcript bar, click to select one, and press delete on your keyboard. Click and drag a word to the right or left if it doesn't quite align with where the speaking happens. You may also see these transcript gap indicators that Camtasia automatically inserts to separate the previous word from the next word in your captions. You just cannot drag the previous word or the next word past the gap. 
Adjusting the placement is helpful because sometimes you may want captions to linger, and sometimes you may want them to disappear as soon as the speaking ends. Once you're happy with the customizations, let's save this dynamic caption style for future use. Click the plus button in the Properties panel to save it as a preset. It appears with the other dynamic caption styles in alphabetical order. Right-click to rename it. From here, you can add it to your Favorites tab for quicker access. From the timeline, you can also add it to a library and then export that library to share with colleagues to have consistent dynamic captions across all the videos your team creates. Thanks for watching and have fun creating! To learn more about Camtasia, be sure to check out our other tutorials.